أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الكريم محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين We seek the protection of Allah from the accursed Satan. We beseech him to send his unending blessings and peace upon our noble prophet Muhammad, his household, his companions, and all who will continue to thread the path of Al-Islam until the day of judgment. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us steadfastness on this path of Al-Islam. Dear brothers and sisters, marhaban bikum. وأهلاً وسهلاً إلى قناتي معكم أخوكم أبو جندل. There was a sister. Welcome to my channel. With you again is your brother Abu Jandal. Today we're going to continue with the lesson six, a dance of studies of our book Arabic, the Medina Arabic course, also known as Durus Lugat Al Arabiya, Legoirina Teki Nabiha. In our last episode, we had completed the lesson five, the Darus Al Khamis where we treated extensively Al-Idofa, possession, and we also mentioned the basic laws, rules guiding Al-Idofa, this possession, and we mentioned to you that it is of utmost importance that you go through this lesson by yourself and making sure that you solve all of the lessons by yourself, all of the exercises by yourself, and this will skyrocket your spoken ability and also it will also increase your Arabic word archive. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to assist all of us. Today we're going to continue from Abdarus Sadis, which is the sixth lesson. Under this lesson, we're going to learn the following. Number one, we will learn Hadihi. Hadihi. Hadihi is the feminine form of the word Hadha. It is pronounced as Hadihi with alif with a mad between the ha and the dha. So you say Hadihi. But when it is written, it is written without the alif mad. So you pronounce it as hadihi. Why you write as hadihi? Now the word hadihi is the feminine form of the word hadha. Hadha simply means this when referring to a masculine noun or adjective. While hadihi is used when um, demonstrating or pointing to a masculine noun or adjective. We say hadha rajulun. Or hadha talibun, this is a student, a male student, and we say hadihi talibatu. Another thing we are also going to be learning in this lesson is the ending. What ends the feminine nouns and also the feminine adjectives? All feminine, all feminine adjectives, with just few exceptions, will end, all feminine nouns and adjectives will end with um ta'un marbuto, a ta'ul marbuto, the closed or the tied ta. So we see the word talibun, a male student will end with ta on marabuto and we pronounce it as talibatun, a female student. So this is the ending of a feminine noun and also feminine adjectives. And also we're supposed to go to learn that these feminine adjectives and nouns, when they have been ended with ta on marabuto, the letter before the ta on marabuto will always be in on, will always be having the fatha as the vowel, so we have tali ba tsun. We also going to learn here that there are certain exceptions from this rule. There are words that, even though they represent feminine um, words or nouns, they will not end with tal marabuto. Example, we have ochtun, which means sister, sister, ahun, brother, ochtun, sister. It will not end with tal marabuto. The same goes for ibn bintun, it will not end with tal marabuto. We are also going to learn that um the parts of the body and what how do we describe them do we do we consider them to be feminine words or masculine words we'll learn that the singular parts of the words the single parts of the words the parts of the body which are single like our face our mouth the nose these are single parts of our body these parts of body are classified or categorized under masculine words. The words are categorized to be under masculine words. And when we describe them, we also describe them as masculine words. However, the parts of the body which are dual, which are double, like the two hands, the eyes, the ears, the legs, these are considered and categorized under the feminine words. So when we describe them, we try to use adjectives or um, we try to use the most pronouns which is um, which refers to a feminine like we say hadha famun this is a mouth then we say hadhi yadun this is a hand because hands are we have two hands 
Now we are also going to learn li, another preposition. In our in the previous lessons, we had learned prepositions like min, ila, fi, hauruful, jaru. These prepositions, which we drag uh, a, a noun which is originally in its nominative case to genitive case, now ending with kesro. We are also going to learn li today. Li, lam kesro li, which the means belong to. We also learn aidon, which means again, another word, and we also learn jiddan, very, the usage of these two words. Let's quickly dive into the lesson of the day. Hadihi, this for female. Hadabnu Hamidin, this is Hamis son. Wahadihi bin to Yasirin, and this is Yasir son. We can see possession. Hamid son, Ibn Hamidin, Wahadihi bin to Yasirin, Yasir's daughter. Ibn Hamidin Jalisun, Hamis son is sitting. Wabin to Yasirin wa kifatun and Yasir's daughter is standing. We can see where we have Jalisun. Jalisun does not end with Taun Marbuta because Hamid is a name or a noun um referring to masculine. While we we see ya bin to Yasirin, Yasir's daughter, we say wa kifatun. Wa kifun means stand for a male, for a masculine. Then we have wa kifatun ending with ta on marboto because this adjective is referring to a feminine. We have man hadihi, who is this? Hadihi uhtul muhandisi. This is the engineer's sister. Aina. Ahia Aidon Mohandisatun is she also a, an engineer? We can see previously we have Al Mohandis Mohandisun, which is a male engineer, but now we have Mohandisatun, a female engineer, ending with Taun Marboto. So we have Ahia Aidon, is she also Mohandisatun, an engineer? La, no, here Tobiba Tun, she is a doctor. Tobibun, a male doctor. Tabibatun, a female doctor. Sayyaratu man hadihi, whose car is this? Sayyaratu ends with taun marbuta. Therefore, we know that this word is in a feminine noun. And the, um, the ismul ishara, which is demonstrative pronoun to refer to this, will be also the feminine one. That's why we can see hadihi. We have sayyaratu man hadihi, whose car is this. If we were to talk about babu, the door, we will say babu man hadha, whose door is this, because babun is a masculine word. So, but here we see sayyaratu man hadhihi, whose car is this, hadhihi. Hadhihi, sayyaratu mudiri, this is the principal's car, hadhihi, sayyaratu mudiri. Ma hadhihi, what is this? Hadhihi mikwatun, this is in an iron, a pressing iron. This is a pressing iron. We have Liman Hazihi. Liman Hazihi. Who owns this? Liman Hazi. Or who does this belong to? Who is this for? Liman Hazihi. Who is this for? Because Li means for, for, for. So Liman Hazihi, we say Hazihi li Khalid. This is for Khalid. For the question that I have said, Liman Hadihi, this shows that the questioner knows that what he is referring to ends with Ta Umar Boto. This, this, what he is referring to is a feminine word. So he's asking to whom belongs this? Who owns this? And the answer will be Hadihi li Khalidin. This is for Khalid. Li Khalidin. The Lam Kesra Li is also serving as a helpful jar. Therefore, it changes Khalidun to Khalidin. We have Adaraja to Anasin Hadihi. Is this Anas bicycle? Is this Anas bicycle? La, no. Hadihi Adaraja to Amarin. This is Amar's bicycle. Hadihi Jadidatun. This is new. Previously, we learned Jadidun. Jadidun means new. When we refer new, which is an adjective qualifying a noun. So when we say something is new and that word is a masculine word, we are going to use Jadidun. However, if the, if the word is a feminine word, we would add Ta or Marbuta at the end, so it will become Jadidatun. So here we are referring to the Rajatun bicycle, and bicycle ends with Ta or Marbuta. Therefore, the, the adjective should also end with Ta or Marbuta. That's why we have Hadihi Jadidatun. This is new. Wadarajatu anasin qadimatun. 
An Angus bicycle is Kodimatun Ode. Previously, we learned Kodimun Ode from masculine nouns and Kodimatun Ode as a feminine adjective. Hadhi Sa'atu Ali Yin. This is Ali's watch. Here, Jamilatun Jiddan. This is, it is very beautiful. Jamilatun. Jamilun for masculine. Jamilatun for feminine. Hadhi Mil'aqatun wa Hadhi Qidrun. Hadhi Mil'aqatun. This is a spoon. Hadhi Mil'aqatun wa Hadhi Qidrun. And this is a pot. We can see Qidrun, which means pot, even though it does not end with Ta Umar but it is also considered to be a feminine word. Because, maybe because the females are the ones who usually use the pots. So the pot is also considered to be a feminine word. We have Hadhi Qidrun. Al-mil'aqatu fil qidri. The spoon is in the pot, as shown in the image. The spoon is in the pot. We can see from the illustration that the spoon is truly in the pot. So we have al-mil'aqatu fil qidri. The spoon is in the pot. Hadhi baqaratul fallahi. This is the farmer's cow. This is the farmer's cow. So we can see hadhi baqaratu, baqaratu, baqaratu. Because it ends with Tawm al therefore, Hadihi also comes before it. Hadha Amfun wa Hadha Famun. This is a mouth. This is a nose and this is a mouth. Hadha Amfun wa Hadha Famun. We can see that Amfun nose, since it is single, and we also have mouth single, therefore, we use Hadha, we consider them to be masculine nouns. Hadhi udhunun wa hadhi ayn. This is an ear wa hadhi ayn. And this is an eye. Since we have two ears, left and right ears, I also have two eyes, the right eye and the left eye. Therefore, these two um, parts of the body are considered to be feminine words. So we use hadhi, not hadha. Hadhi udhunun. This is an ear wa hadha ayn. And this is an eye. Wahadihi yadun, and this is a hand. Wahadihi rijlun, and this is a leg. So we have two hands and two legs, therefore they are also counted to be feminine words. Now, this is the end of this lesson. We move on to Tamarin exercises. The first exercise, the instruction says, Ikra, walk to, read and write. Number one, Hadha masjidun, wahadihi madrasatun. We have to read this and write. When you read, you are getting your tongue used to the pronunciation so that you don't need to think much before you know which word to use and when to add time or water and when not to add it. So we have had the masjidun. This is a mosque. We can see a mosque. It does not end with town or water. Therefore, it is considered to be a masculine word. Maybe because the males are the ones that it is compulsory for to go to the mosque. So a mosque is a masculine word. So we say had the masjidun. This is a mosque. Wa hadhi madrasatun. And this is a school. Hadhi madrasatun. Hadhi. You can see madrasatun ending with town or water. Therefore, hadhi comes. Man hadhi, who is this? Hadhi uhtu Abbasin, this is Abbas' sister. We mentioned earlier that there are exceptions to the rule which states that masculine, that feminine words should end with ta, ta or marboto. This is one of the exceptions. Uhtun, sister, it does not end with ta or marboto. So it is still, it, no, that will not take it from being a feminine word. So uhtun is still a feminine word. Hadhi uhtu Abbasin, this is Abbas' sister. This is a cock and this is a hen. This is the principal son and this is the teacher's daughter. This is Yasir's mother. Ibn Lahmi. Where is the meat pot? Where is the meat pot? Here, it is in the fridge, the refrigerator. 
Hadha babun wa hadhihi nafidhatun This is a door and this is a window Hadha babun, babun a masculine word And nafidhatun a feminine word Hadha babun, this is a door Wa hadhihi nafidhatun And this is a window Tamarin, this exercise we are to um, Look at the, these illustrations, these images And we choose either hadha or hadhi so we're going to be questioning mahadha or mahadhi pointing to each of these illustrations the first we have a pen we say mahadha what is this and we say wa mahadhi for the spoon because the spoon is male akotun it ends with ta on marboka therefore it is considered to be a feminine word so we say mahadha wa mahadhi we have book and shirt, we say mahadha because book is a masculine word or mahadha for the shirt also since it is a masculine word. We have baitun and we have um, um, sa'atun. So we say mahadha or mahadhi for the house and for the watch. We also have sayaratun which is, um, which is a, a car. So we say mahadhi. So you will answer by saying Hadihi sayyaratun The next we have babun we say Mahadha what is this So the response will, response will be Hadha babun This is a door We have the legs of a human so we say Mahadihi Mahadihi And the response will be Hadihi rijulun This is a leg So we also have Darajatun we say Mahadihi Hadihi darajatun the next we have the face of a human we say mahadha mahadha hadha wajhun the next is mahadhihi hadhihi kidrun the next is mahadhihi hadhihi yadun the next is mahadha or mahadha nam hadha anfun this is a nose the next will be mahadhihi hadhihi thalagatun this is a fridge Mahada hada miftahun. This is a key. Mahada hada masjidun. This is a mosque. Mahadihi hadihi mekwatun. This is an iron, a pressing iron. Mahada hada kursiyun. This is a chair. Mahada hada najmun. This is a star. So, exercise number three, we have the instruction which says, Ikra il mithala wa kawin jumalan ala girari. That read the following exa examples and make a sentence on its opposite. Make a, a sentence on its opposite. Looking at the, the one on the right hand side, you make a similar sentence. However, the similar, there will be changes. The example brought here is, Muhammadun Talibun. Muhammad is a student. And the on the right on the left hand side we have Aminatu Talibatun. Amina is a student. So we see Muhammadun Talibun. Why when we see Aminatu, it's um Ta'un Marbuta was being added to Talibun to make it Talibatun. And we can see that Talibun originally, when we added Ta'un Marbuta to it, in order for it to qualify and to describe Amina, the Ba'un, which originally had Dummatan, it is now changed to Fatha. So we have Amina to Talibatun. Number two, we have Hamidun Tabibun. Hamid is a doctor. So Fatima Tun, Fatima Tu will be. Tabibatun. We have who a Muslimun. He is a Muslim. We say he a Muslimatun. She is a Muslima. Muslimatun. We have Albabu Mogolakun. The door is closed. We have Anafidatu Mogolakatun. The window is closed because Anafidatu ends with Ta Marbuta and it is a noun. So the adjective to describe this noun should also end with Ta Marbuta. Al Mindilu Wasikun. The handkerchief is dirty. So we have Aliadu Wasikatun. The hand is Wasikatun is dirty because Aliadu is considered to be a feminine word and therefore the, 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 the adjective describing it should also end with a feminine sign we have number six ashayu harun the t is um is hot we have alkohwatu the coffee harotun is is hot 
We have a talibu maridun. The student is sick. A talibatu maridatun. A talibu maridun. The male student is sick. A talibatu. The female student maridatun is sick. Number nine, we have al hisanu seriun. The horse is fast. And we have a sayaratu seriatun. Because sayaratu is a feminine word. Al qamaru jamilun. The moon is beautiful. A shamsu. Jamilatun, the sun is beautiful because the moon is considered to be a masculine word and the shamsu, the sun is considered to be a feminine word. So we add ta umar to so the adjective describing the sun. And lastly, we have al abu jalisun, the father is sitting. And we have al ummu jalisa tun, mashallah. Moving on to the next exercise, the instruction says, Sahihil Jumal al Atiya, correct the following sentences. Meaning, all the, the following sentences are not correct, so you should make the corrections. Can we go on? Yes. Number one, we have Hakibatu Manhada. Hakibatu Manhada, whose bag is this. Hakibatu, it is un of undoubtedly a feminine word because it ends with. Eta'un marabuto. Therefore, we cannot use hadha. We use hadhihi. So the correct thing to be written should be hakibatu man hadhihi. Whose bag is this? Because this is a demonstrative pronoun pointing to hakibatun. So hakibatun, if a feminine word, it should be hadhihi hakibatun. Hakibatu man hadhihi. Whose bag is this? Number two, we have al gurufatu maftuhun. The room is opened. Maftuhun, no, it should be Maftuhatun because al Gurfatu ends with Tau Marbuta and therefore Maftuhun should be Maftuhatun, not Maftuhun. So al Gurfatu, Maftuhatun, the room is opened. We have Hada Sayyaratu Tabibi, Hada Sayyaratu, no, we cannot say Hada Sayyaratu, rather we say Hadihi Sayyaratu Tabibi, Hadihi Sayyaratu Tabibi, this is the doctor's car. Number four, we have Hadihi Miftahu Sayyarati. That is wrong. Hadha Miftahu Sayyarati. This is the car key. Lastly, we have Aina Sayyaratu. Where is the car? Aina Sayyaratu. Where is the car? And the response is Hua Fishari. It is in the street. Is that correct? No. We cannot use hua for sayyaro because hua, which means it, should be ref is referring to a masculine noun. Therefore, hua, we should rather use here. Here, which is a, a feminine pronoun, is what we use to um, to stand in place of this noun. So we say here fishari, it is in the streets. The last exercise here, the instruction says, Ikra walk to ma adopti awakhir al kalimat. Read and ma adopti awakhir al kalimat. Read and write with recording the ending of each of these words. Read and write by recording the ending of each of these words. We have to record the vowels of each of these words. The number one we have Hada li Muhammadin because li is hard for jar. Hada li Muhammadin. This is for Muhammad. Wadalika li Hamidin and this is for Hamid. Number two, Liman Hadihi. Who is this for? Hadihi li Yasirin. Should I call that Rin? That in that Tanwin. Hadihi li Yasirin. This belongs to Yasir. Number three, we have Alhamdulillahi. All praise belong to Allah. The praise belong to Allah. We can see the word Allah, the name of Allah, our Lord. Allah, originally, it's, it is written this way. Allahu. But when it is preceded by this um, heartful jar, Lam Kisroli, we now drop the first lamb. We know originally a law we have alif lamb lamb then her. So here we're going to drop the first lamb on um, remaining the, the second lamb alone. So we have lillahi lillahi because the first lamb is like a tarif. So we have lillahi. We drop the alif and lamb and we the definite article to just add li. So we have lillahi lillahi. So, number four, lastly, we have Lillahi al-Mashriku wal-Maghribu. 
Lillahil mashriku wal maghribu. To Allah belongs the east and the west. We can say Lillahi also. We do not say Lillahu or Lillahi. We don't, we don't say Lillahi. Even in the Quran, we will not say Bismillah, Bismillahi. Because the name of Allah, when it is preceded by Kisra, we pronounce it as La, La, Lillahi, not Lillahi, MashaAllah. Now, lastly, we have this box here where we have Al Kalimatul Jadida, the new words. The words we have learned today, the new vocabulary, these words should be added to our Arabic word archive. We ask Allah to assist us. The first word we have here is Al Mikwatu. Al Mikwatu. Al Mikwatu means the iron. Al Darajatu, the bicycle. Al Milakatu, the spoon. Al Kidru, the pot. Al Bakaratu, the cow. Al Falahu, the farmer. Al Anfu, the nose. Al Famu, the mouth. Al Uzunu, the ear. Al Yadu, the hand. Al Rijlu, the leg. Al Shayu, tea. Al Ummu, the mother. Al-Thalajatu, the fridge, the refrigerator. Al-Qahwatu, the coffee. Sari'un, fast. Al-Nafidatu, window. Jiddan, Jiddan means very. So you can say, um, you can use the word Jiddan when you want to say very, very. Who are married in Jiddan? He is very sick. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us understanding and to reward us for our time. As we have always said, it is left to you to practice and practice. And these exercises are to be solved by you. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.